Yo guys, welcome back to this new video. In this video, we will make a new jump scare that I will show you right now. I hope I don't have to remember all that because that'd be terrible. <laughs> oh my god. The credits go to Mr. Dark Doom. I will link his video down below in the, co in the comment section. Uh, so yeah, it's basically a door scare and uh, once you touch the part, basically an animation will play in, in a cool sound. So yeah, let's get right to it. Um, I have this door right here. It has two parts, as you can see. Uh, you can use any door. You can use a window, you can use uh, a monster, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but for this scene, I will like to make a door scene again, just like before. And then I will also make a wall over here. Because basically it will slam against this wall. Uh, so let's make this a wall. Uh, let's make it anchored on. And there we go. So, okay. Uh, first, what you have uh, to do, you basically get your door and group it. So it's getting in a model. You can do that by pressing Ctrl G. Or you can just select the parts and then right click and then group over here. As you can see, it also says the keybind over here. Okay. Um, okay, I have textures in it and a door sound. I will. Uh, yeah, leave the door sound right here. You can copy the sound ID right here to basically play this. It can be quite loud, so yeah. Oh, wait, it doesn't play, okay. Uh, it's basically the same uh, sound that you hear in the, yeah, in the, basically in the in the video of Mr. Dark Doom. I think if I publish it or give a, uh, access to it, let me check real quick. Uh, in output, yes, there we go. Okay, I just have to give myself some uh, permission. There we go. Okay, so now I think I can listen to it. As you can see, it's very loud. You probably hear it double, double right now, but yeah. Um, okay, so what we have to do now is we have to make it uh, yeah able to animate because we are, are gonna animate it basically. Um, so I normally pick the biggest um, yeah basically the part that surrounds every part of it so basically this window is just this and this part um, surrounds the window so let's copy paste that one called humanoid view part humanoid view part there we go uh, make sure that the h the r and the p are capital very important as it won't work uh, remove the doors out over here um, okay so what we have to do now you will not root part, you're gonna make sure that it is anchored and that it can collide this on. There we go. And then for part, for whatever your door or window is, make sure that anchored is off and can collide this off. Uh, okay, perfect. Then you are gonna install a plugin called Wigging. Uh, let's see if I can help you guys find it. I think if you just search Wigging, let's see. Uh, plugins, Wigging, there we go. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. Just install this one, just uh, search in plugins. So first open toolbar in view, go to plugins, and then just search wigging, and then you can find this one. Make sure it's this one, not the not other one, because uh, especially not famous ones will most likely have a virus or something in it. So just download the most uh, downloaded plugin. Okay, <laughs> once you have downloaded the plugin, you will see him right here, or you have to activate them in your plugin. Um, selection okay select it and then oh wait before that we have to add a humanoid in this model so do insert object and search humanoid there we go perfect now you can select the wig edit uh at the door i think yeah and just select the door once you select the door it will basically um yeah, have this blue surrounding on it uh make sure that all the parts are different names so this is called part, this is called part one or part two or leg or window. Um, so just have everything a different name, else it won't work with the animation. Everything needs to be a different name from each other. So no copies of the same name. Very important. Okay, continue. Select the humanoid root part and then select any part that you have in here. So in this case, part. Now uh, I do it again, humanoid root part and then part one. And say you have part two, then you click humanoid root part again. And then select part two and so go on. Okay, that's it. Now you can animate it. So um, go to plugins, go to animation editor, select the door, and just make it, uh, I will call it door scan. And as you can see, I can animate it. I can animate, oh, wait, the humanoid wood part. I'll just remove 
just real quick and then make it one. Yeah. Make sure to hide the unit root part. So transparency is one. So now you can see the unit root part. Anyway. Okay, so now if I rotate it, as you can see, it's just uh, the part and the part one that I can yeah move. Now I like to add all, uh, so I can animation, uh, I can basically animate it all at once right now. So once I touch the part, I just basically first, I just like to move it one and then back, so it will copy the position that it is right now. So it won't, because uh, if I don't do that, and I do, for example, I want to go to one second, and then I want it to be here. And I oh, say I didn't do that, then basically, yeah, it's already there. So make sure to copy uh, the position it is right here. So let's go. Okay. Uh, now the door needs to be slim. So basically, uh, it needs to be pretty fast. So I think we give it 50 seconds and see how fast it is. Go. Okay, that's pretty fast, but it can be faster. Let's go to give it a more natural and realistic look. Okay, perfect. Now, what I like to do because it gets slammed, probably from top of the door or the bottom, you can choose yourself. What I like to do is tilt it a little bit. So in this case, you're gonna rotate. So once you select both parts or all your parts in your um, yeah in your animation editor, you can press R. And then you can basically rotate it, press it again, and then you can move it again. Uh, now we can rotate it, and then uh, if I press Ctrl R, uh, then there we go. Okay, so now it will actually look like it's getting stamped from the top of the door, like it's already falling over. Gives it a more natural look. Um, and then what I like to do is right away uh, select both parts again. Please. There we go. And then just this. Not too much. And then back to the ground. All the way to the ground. There you go. Looking kind of cool. Now, as you can see right here, it goes a little bit in the ground, so what I like to do is each um, frame, normally, I can just uh, select both parts. Like, look, this is not good, so uh, let's already do that. Okay, select both parts again, and then what you're going to do, is you're going to make sure it hits, it always hits the ground, the base uh, ground. So, it goes to 21, it's still not hitting the ground. Um, there we go. Now I'm not a pro animator, but yeah, it's basically, it works. Looking pretty cool. Okay, and then what I like to do, it like, right now it's just falling. It, it doesn't look natural. So what I like to do, I make this a little bit longer. Um, and then I will just let it slide a little bit. And maybe even rotate a little bit, like so. Okay, let's see how that looks. Look, that looks much more natural. You can even extend it to make it even more. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, okay. Um, so yeah, that's basically an animation. So what we are gonna do now is uh, copy this keyframe, make the animation time like 15 seconds, and then copy that keyframe over here. You can do that by right clicking and then copy selector, and then do again paste keyframe, there we go. So now you basically have this whole selection to pause the uh, animation. Because if you don't do that, it will basically stop here and then go right away like here. So it's, yeah, just make sure that it keeps um, like 10 seconds in between them. So you have time to actually pause the animation. Publish to Roblox, there we go. Now I will just publish it to my group because the game is on my group. Okay, copy the ID, make sure you copy the ID. If you didn't find, uh, if you didn't copy the ID, then make sure you go to uh, the Roblox page, press create, then uh, my creation or group creation, and then you can find your animation over there. Okay, so now in model, let's call it doors, group it, uh, add the animation, and paste the keyframes in there. Um, yeah. Now what we are going to do is at a part, that will basically be the activation part. Now I will make it pretty close, like here. There we 
we go. Okay, now I will just make it a little bit transparent so I at least know when we are touching it. Can collide off and anchor it on. There we go. Call it um, whatever you want, act part or act part means activation part for my uh, yeah in my perspective. Let's add a part right here so it actually looks like it's coming from something. There we go. Okay. Uh, what you're gonna do now uh, is basically add a script right now. So let's add a script in act part. There we go. And now do local function uh, on part touch. Uh, and then script that is able is two, so you can touch it again. Very important. And then script of parent dot parent dot uh, doors part one dot door dot play. Okay, so now basically once I touch it, um, it will play this sound that I added in here. You can add any sound you have uh, you want. Uh, make sure that you have the wall of max distance or whatever you have basically uh, to like. 125 so not everyone in the whole game hears uh, yeah basically hears the sound so make sure you have like 125 or maybe even lower maybe even 50 uh, make sure it's loud so like it's a jump scare so let them have it um, yeah and just make sure that the uh, loop and playing is off uh, yeah okay now what you're gonna do uh, let's wait you don't have to do this, but by sound it has like a delay before it gets played. Like, see, this this part doesn't have any sound, so I have to wait. You don't have to do this if your jump scare uh, plays right away. Local um, door is script of parent dot parent um, dot doors dot humanoid. So find this. Uh, so if you have window, then you do. Uh, instead of doors, you do window. Okay, um, local animation. Animation is script parent parent. Uh, where did I get it? Oh, there we go. Animation. There we go. And then animation dot play. Wait, let's call it something else else because it might break. So let's call it animation one just to be sure. And then. Um, Wait four, for example, and then animation one. Dot adjust speed zero, uh, and then the most importantly, script parent the touch connect, uh, and then on part touch. So make sure this and this is called the same. Okay, so let's test it. I think it will work. Let's see. The walls might fall over, but let's see. Okay, there we go. Okay, the animation doesn't play, let's see, play is not a valid member. Oh wait, I know. Um, so what you're gonna do is you do doors. So this one, door. Load animation. And then script of parent, parent animation. There we go, so now it will actually load the animation. Okay, let's test it out right now. Let me also this to the microphone, there we go, okay, and there we go, it should work right now, uh, the sound isn't playing, or you guys don't hear it, or probably will hear it, I have no idea, but yeah, it works, and as you can see, it just stays over here, um, now please make sure that if the door is like right here, uh, it is can collide on, so basically if I walk here in, oh, wait, I will just show you, because that can cause a problem, so make sure it has a distance between uh, the players. Like, say I have it right here, and then I jump, uh, and then I jump right in front of it. Like now. Oh wait, it doesn't. Okay, that's never mind. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. Um, so yeah, that's about it. It's a small scare, and I will show you guys more advanced scares in the future. Uh, yeah, let me know if you like this one, and uh, yeah, what, especially scares or maybe something else that you would like uh, to learn then I will most likely make a video of it. Just let me know in the comments or anything else. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.